Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is Faith in 50. Today we'll conclude Paul's message on Mars Hill and see how his audience reacts. Acts 17, 31 through 34. This is because God set a day when God did, intends to judge the world justly by a man he has appointed. God's given proof of this to everyone by raising that man from the dead. When the people heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to ridicule Paul. However, others said, we'll hear from you about this again. At that, Paul left the council. Some people joined him and came to believe, including Dionysus, a member of the council on Mars Hill, and a woman named Damaris, and several others. Aside from the ridiculing, Paul finds a receptive audience. He allows God's power to speak for God's self, and some of the people looked forward to hearing more. What leaves you yearning for more? How can we evaluate our own faith and find ways to make sure we're being transformed, that we're left yearning for more of God? We are not called to be a stagnant people, but instead we're called to be transformational people of faith. May we all yearn for more of God today. Thank you.